Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. This is part one of approximation and estimation. Now, what is approximation? Well, another name for approximation is rounding off. And uh, we do rounding off to simplify numbers so they are easy to use and easy to remember. Say you bought a pair of shoes, okay, and you bought this pair of shoes for $99. Now, if, some, if a friend asks you how much you bought the pair of shoes for, you don't say I bought it for $99. You're more likely to say I bought it for $100. So, see, you actually rounded off this number, 99, to 100. So, you said I bought the shoes for $100. Now, but say instead you had bought the shoes for $81. Would you be saying, oh, I bought the shoes for $81? More likely, you would be saying I bought the shoes for $80. So again, you rounded off the number, but this time, in the, in the second case, you rounded off the number to make it smaller, but in the first case, you rounded off the number to make the new number bigger. This is, uh, in the first case, it's called rounding up. In the second case, it's called rounding down where the number is smaller. Well, that's another story, but the, the, the thing is that you didn't say how much you exactly bought the shoes for. You just rounded off the number and you said approximately how much you bought the shoes for, okay? And when you say approximately, this is what you, this is how you represent it. So you say 99 is approximately equal to 100 or you say 81 is approximately equal to 80. So when you say approximately, you use the symbol of double waves. Well, that's the introduction about rounding off. But how do you round off uh, numbers? Well, this was a small number, 99 and 81, so you just round it off rounded it off in your head but is there a is there a set of rules about how you round off numbers big numbers well there is and i'm going to introduce you to that all right so let's get started well there are a few things a few rounding offs that you can do in this lesson we will learn how to round off numbers to the nearest 10 how to round off numbers to the nearest 100 and how to round them off to the nearest 1000. Actually, what you did here in 19, when you rounded off 99 to 100 was you rounded off to the nearest uh, 10. And also in 81, you rounded off to the nearest 10. But we'll get uh, into the details in a, in a bit, okay? okay? So let's start with rounding off to the nearest 1000. Okay, so this is nearest thousand now when I round off a number to the nearest thousand let me take a number okay let's start with an example let's say I have the number as 77,250 now when I'm rounding off to the nearest thousand what I'm saying is I only care about the part of the number until the thousands so we have the thousands here 77 thousands and after the thousands which is 250 I don't care about that part of the number Okay, so this 250 could very well be zero, all zeros, and I wouldn't care. It could be any number, and I don't care. Okay, it could be 500, 300, 800, whatever, and I wouldn't care. So I am I am only interested in part of the number until the thousands. So that's decided. So on our number line, let's let's make a number line so it's uh, even uh, easier to comprehend. So we have a number line here, and we have the 77,000 here. Okay, since we know the number has 77,000, we put the 77,000. But we don't know whether to round up this number or round down this number because rounding off has got two components. It could either be rounding up or it could be rounding down, which means that the new number would be either smaller than the given number, which is 77,250, or it will be bigger than the number. Okay, we just saw in the previous <coughs> examples of uh, 99 rounding off to 100 and 81 rounding off to 80, right? So it uh, it could be either rounding up or rounding down. But since we're interested only in the nearest thousand, we, we, we know that it will be either 77,000 or the next thousand. What is the next thousand? Well, the next thousand is 78,000. So we put that down, mark that down as well on the number line, okay? So our uh, number, new number, would be either 77,000, in which case it will be rounded down, or it will be 78,000, in which case it will be rounded up. Now we don't know whether to round up or round down because we don't know the rules yet. So what we do is we mark the middle point on this number line, okay? So we have 77,000 on one side and 78,000 on the other side. Then what will be the midpoint? Well, obviously, it will be 77,500 because that's the middle point. 
All right. Now, what how we round how we know whether to round up or round down is to take this number and place it on this number line. Now, if this number that's given to us is to the left of the middle point, then we know we have to round down. And if it is to the right of the middle point or if it is the middle point itself, then we will round up. Okay. So in this example, 77,250, the middle point, uh, sorry, the number, the given number lies somewhere over here. So this is your 77,250. Now, 77,250 is closer to 77,000 than it is to 78,000. And also it's to the left of uh, the middle point. So we will round it down okay so that's how you know whether to round up or round down now if for example you were given another number another number like 77,750 okay let's say that now that number is somewhere over here it's to the right of the middle point it is 77,750 now it's to the right of the middle point so it will be rounded up okay so it will be rounded up to 78,000 so your 77,750 when rounded off to the nearest thousand will give you 78,000. On the other hand, 77,250 when rounded off to the nearest thousand will give you 77,000. Okay, so see the difference? This is 77,000 and this is 78,000. The both of them had 77,000. But what you did was you checked whether the number was to the right of the middle point or to the left of the middle point okay and if it is the middle point itself then you again round it up to 78000 okay now um um, the, you don't always have to make this number line in order to find out whether to round up or round down a number. There's another simple way of uh, finding out how what the, what the rounded off number will be, okay? So what you do is, let me clear this first. Okay, so we take a number again. We have 77,250, okay? Now we said that we are rounding it off to the nearest thousand. So what we mean is we care about the part of the number only until the thousands. Okay, and the rest of the part we don't care about. So the rest of the part, which is the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place, can be all dropped and uh, re replaced by zeros. So that's what we do. We replace them by zeros. Now we don't know whether to round up this number or round down. Okay, because we're rounding off, but we don't know whether to round up or round down. So for that, what you do is you check the guy in the hundreds place. Okay, you're rounding off to the thousands. So for that, you check the digit in the hundreds place. Now, if this digit is less than five, then you know that you have to round down. Okay, so since in our case, this digit is less than five, all we do is keep 77 as such. On the other hand, say another example, 77,750. In this case, these three are again replaced by zeros, these three digits, the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. But now the hundreds place has got seven, and seven is definitely more than five. So what you do is you know you have to round up the number. So for rounding up, you simply add one to the rest of the uh, number, to the left, okay? And 77 becomes 78. So your rounded up number becomes 78,000, which is what we saw on the number line previously. That 77,750 will be rounded up to 78,000. All right. So all you have to do is check the guy in the hundreds place. If the guy in the hundreds place is less than 5, then you know you have to round down to 77,000. And if the guy is equal to 5 or more than 5, then you have to round up and make it 78,000. So when you round up the number, the number becomes more than the original number. See, the original number was 77,000 and something. The new number is 78,000. And uh, when you round down, the new number becomes smaller than the original number. The original number was 77,250, but now you have only 77,000, okay? But although they are not equal to each other, they are said to be approximately equal to each other. They're still quite close to each other, okay? The the new number and the given number. They're still quite close to each other. Uh, we'll take another example and do rounding off to nearest 100, okay? So when you round off to the nearest 100, what you are actually saying is you only care about the part of the number until the hundreds place. 
and the remaining number the remaining part of the number you don't care about so if i give you an example like 1420 okay this is rounding off to the nearest 100 let's write that down so you it only matters to you what's up till the hundreds place now up till the hundreds place is 1 and 4 after that is the tens place and the ones place so you don't care about the tens and the ones and you replace them by zeros now again you don't know whether to round up or round down so you simply check the guy in the tens place this time because you're rounding off to the nearest hundred and if this guy is less than five then you round down however if this guy was more than five or equal to five you would round up and this number would become one five okay so for hundreds place you check the guy in the tens place now on the number line if you were to represent this on the number line what you would do is you would make the number line you know that this is 1400 because you have that 1420 now the next hundred would be obviously 1500 okay so after because after 1400 comes 1500 the next hundred so you put that down and then you mark the middle point which is 1450 now 1420 lies to the left so 1420 is rounded down how about 1470 well that lies to the right of the middle point so it will be rounded up to 1500 see that's it's a simple logic so if you want to understand something just place it on the number line and work your way uh, otherwise the, the the other steps are just mechanical this is just the procedure how to uh, round off a number uh, that is this part okay but this is how you understand how to how rounding off is happening okay or why you round off because in this case see 1470 is obviously closer to 1500 than it is to 1400 on the other hand 1420 is clearly closer to 1400 than it is to 1500 that's why you round 1420 down but you round up 1470 to 1500 okay and in the case of the middle point we said uh, already you always round up to 1500 okay uh, so for nearest 10 it's again the same procedure uh, if you wanted to write down you could still you could write it down but it's if you take a number like 1463 what you do is you split the number okay this time you're doing nearest 10 you're rounding off to the nearest 10 so you split the number what you're saying is you only care about the part of the number until the tens place so until the tens place is 1 4 and 6 and you're saying okay you can drop the ones place because I don't care about the ones place so this becomes 0 okay 3 becomes 0 but you still want to know whether to round up or round down and because this is 3 it is less than 5 so you round down and the new number becomes 1 4 6 3 when rounded off to the nearest 10 is approximately equal to 1460 how about 1468 well clearly this is greater than 5 so it will be rounded up and you get 1468 is approximately equal to 1470 when rounded off to the nearest 10 on the number line you take the number line and you put 1460 because 146 is going to remain the same and this is going to become zero uh, the, the ones place because you don't care about the ones place and the next one 146 will become 147 and the zero the ones place you don't care about so replace that by zero and the middle point will be 1465 and then if you were asked to place these two 1463 is obviously to the left 1463 so this is rounded down to 1460 and 1468 is somewhere over here 1468 so it will be rounded up to 1470 all right well that's that about approximating and understanding how to approximate or uh, round off a number in part two of this lesson we will see more about approximating numbers and also how to estimate values okay but until then why don't you go and do some practice exercises 
So for practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.